MTV, I'm Becky Joyce, and we're getting ready to surprise my good friend April Bogatich. She has no idea. She got chosen to be on Fanatic, and she gets to meet Melissa Joan Hart, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So we're out laying out. She has no idea I'm doing this. She's going to freak out. We are in Tice's Corner, McLean, Virginia, and I'm going to go surprise my boyfriend. He's on a job interview, and we're going to ambush the job interview and let him know that he's been selected by MTV to go see Hootie and the Blowfish in Toronto, Canada. We're at Oklahoma City Golf and Country Club in Oklahoma City, so come on, let's go. You ready? She's sitting over there. Come on. She's never going to know. Hi. You're going to go meet Hootie. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You're done. Come on. Did you know about this? Come on. Let's go. Let's go, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, and I hate you even more. I love you. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. Go. Let's see you when you get back. Uh, <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> God, I don't want to cry. <laughs> go for it. Holy cow, manure. April! April! Uh, you got chosen to meet Sabrina the Teenage Witch. We're leaving now. We're going to L.A. Oh, my God! Are you, are you serious? <laughs> I'm going with you. You sent in your videotape to Fanatic. You were chosen. Now meet your inspiration. So I'll just let these go flat, and when I see Harvey and Valerie tonight, They'll drink, and we'll go back to being talentless friends. Did you uh, pop one for yourself? Me? I haven't been affected by having things go my way. Oh, please. Little miss, I'm too cool to do my history homework. I had an autograph signing. <laughs> okay. She taught me how to be an individual. Through her television show, Clarissa explains it all. My computer desktop wallpaper is even a picture of her as the character of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I really, really, really hope I get to meet Melissa Joan Hart because I am her number one fan, MTV. I can think of in the past 20 years that's ever affected me like these guys have. When I listen to their music, there's something about them that I believe. It sounds like they mean it. It doesn't sound like they're singing other people's words, trying to make a quick buck. Ever since Crack Rear View Mirror came out, that's always been the one album that it's just, it's helped me through a lot of things. It's God, she's just the, my idol. I mean, I grew up with this girl and she's just done so much for me. And I can't believe I'm gonna meet her. Can you believe you're going to Toronto? You've never been out of the country before. No. No, I, I can't believe that we're going to meet Udi. Can't believe we're going out of the country. I can't believe any of this. I, no. Well, I grew up watching Melissa on two of her TV shows, Clarissa Explains It All on Nickelodeon and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which she just started doing more recently. I mean, I have watched her, like, my whole life. I've never had the house to myself before. I gotta call Val. <laughs> my paper. Such a good girl. And so trustworthy. What a coincidence. The topic of my paper is child abuse. <laughs> Such a down-to-earth, all-American teenage girl that, that I could identify with. I definitely have had a, a, a full life with a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, when I was 16 years old, I lost my mother. And then when I was 19 years old, my father got sick and he passed away, and I felt like I had lost everything. I could listen to Hootie, and there were certain songs and certain lines that they would say that would help me understand it, help me go past it, help me accept it and just deal with it. I, I, and I, I honestly think that those songs were my motivation and my inspiration to help me snap back up and get my life back in order. And to this day, it's, it's worked. Best was when they would have the Clarissa marathons. That was, oh. And my brothers used to yell at me, April, it's our turn to watch TV. Get off. Da -da -da. No. If mom and dad catch you with all these law books, you're dead. <laughs> you tell and I'll kill you. You try and I'll sue. A minor can't sue a minor. You know, this really is the perfect profession for you, Bergface. Someday, people may actually pay you to be annoying, heartless, and manipulative. No, that was like my brothers. They were so... My brother was such a smart aleck, just like Bergface.
We're here for the Hootie Express. Do you like Hootie and the Blowfish? I uh, love them. That's who we're going to meet. Oh, no kidding. You're actually going to meet him? Get to interview him. Oh, no kidding. Why? Scott, think you have enough luggage? Uh -oh. I had to I don't think I've smiled this long in years. Come with us. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Thank you. Hi, we're in LA. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. Do it. It's fun. Oh look, they even have a wall mount hair dryer. You know you're filming in the bathroom. <laughs> Bonus. I give it to shoe caddy. The holy bible. There, there was a time when I had pretty much, I gave up on myself. I had no motivation. I, I had no direction. I had no will. I didn't have any fight left. And I ended up eventually out on the street, homeless. And that was something I never thought would ever happen to me. But there, there was two or three songs that I would sing to myself from Hootie that would help me through, get, just get through the night. Like, uh, goodbye, I'm coming home, the trees, they're, Every song on, on Cracked Review had a different story or it had a different meaning to me. Tomorrow. Night. Night. Hi. <laughs> We're going to meet Melissa Jonhart. Yeah. Do we like, do we like get to go like on a set? All right. This is it. Thank you very much. I can't believe it. I can't believe that yesterday I was in D.C., you know, trying to get a job, and now today I'm in Toronto, Canada. I have a new job, and I'm going to meet Hootie. Right now we are cruising through Hollywood. We are getting ready to go to Paramount Studios, like like the studio, Paramount Studio. Are you nervous? Yes. Curling your eyelashes again. Okay, the lipstick on my teeth. They're gonna have time to make a restroom stop. I had no idea. I thought I was just gonna have a quiet, relaxing evening at home and be totally normal. Hey, and... no, did it. Oh my god! So, what song are you gonna sing with us tonight? <laughs> and, and the nominees are. The 1998 MTV Video Music Awards, live September 10th at 8. MTV's Fanatic is coming your way thanks to Reebok DMX. Available at Champ Sports. When you really live sports. I feel I can run forever today. The release DMX6 from Reebok has moving air technology for the ultimate in cushioning and stability. So it reacts to the way you run. Out of my way, I'm feeling great. Hello. Here I come. The Reebok release DMX6 running shoe. Try it on at Champ Sports. What kind of fuel do they put in those shoes? Here's the thing about love. You never know when it's looking your way. Here's the thing about 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. One low rate, anytime, anywhere, period. So you use 1-800-CALL-ATT and say, hey, put dinner in the freezer, Ma, because I just saw me an angel. Here's another thing about love. It hurts. Ah, love comes and goes. But 1-800-CALL-ATT is the guaranteed cheap way to make collect calls. We should be ruling the humans. These people are our food. The world you live in is just a sugar-coated top. There's a war going on out there. On August 21st, the age of man comes to an end. Evil's greatest fear. That must hurt. Is our only hope. There were still out there vampires. Like what? Like me. Wesley Snipes. Stephen Dorff. Blade. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 21st. Magic? What?
What's the future of fashion? Old Navy surplus pants. So chic. I must have some. <laughs> They're charming. For adults, for kids, for the whole family. Surplus pants for everyone. Magic, you're the master of fashion. Today, in the Atlantic fleet, on board USS Enterprise, character, character was forged. Valor was commended. Was commended. Minds were enlightened. were enlightened. Lessons were learned. Fears were Fears conquered. Were conquered. conquered. Worlds were discovered. Honor was defined. Courage was found. Commitment was sealed. Today, Today on, on board USS Enterprise, over 5,000 5, journeys began anew. What did you what do? Did you what did you do today? today? Call 1 800 USA Navy. Let the journey begin. No cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. Get close a little longer. Kiss a little longer. Hold tight a little longer. Longer with Big Red. That big Freshness that's right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. Why get you it? So hold on a little longer. Make it last a little longer. Give your breath a little longer. Freshness with Big Red. This summer, that's your man. America's most wanted man will take any risk to prove his innocence. Wrongfully accused. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, August 21st. Fanatic, what would you do if you met your favorite celebrity? This is such a great feeling. See how tonight's Fanatic reacts to next and Richard Simmons. Catch Fanatic tomorrow at 11 p.m., followed by Loveline at its new time. You're in the 10 spot. Loveline is next, followed by Sifa and Ollie. So what, she's pulling up in the limo? Hi, we're here at the studio. I don't know that I've ever been interviewed by a fan that wasn't like five years old. I hope I, I, hope I really speak in coherent sentences in a minute because, <laughs> oh my god. Cool. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I mean, I, my god, I mean, look at where we are. We are on the actual set for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is so cool. I had no idea. I thought I was just going to have quiet, relaxing evening at home and be totally normal. You and you out, did it? Oh my god. Hi. Hi, Melissa. Nice to meet you. It's How so are you? Nice to meet you. I'm great. How are you? Good. Good, welcome to our set. Thank you, this is so cool. It's like, you have no idea, it's the coolest thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. So, do you want to sit down? Sure, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm April Bogatich, and we are here with my idol, Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> and I am definitely, by far, her number one fan. No no questions asked. Oh, gosh, this is just so great to meet you. I, I hope Thank you don't you. mind, but I've kind of prepared some questions that no. I really wanted to ask you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what can we ex expect from this next season of Sabrina the Teenage Witch? There's going to be a family secret on Sabrina this year. Um, she has to figure out the family secret. So every week there's going to be, or every couple weeks, there's going to be like a new celebrity, weird family member guest. So oh, cool. That'll be kind of neat. All right, that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. um, what celebrity would you like to meet and why? My idol is Shirley Temple, and I, I'd always wanted to meet her, and I just met her about two months ago. Oh, wow. I went to her house, and that was so cool. You got to go to her house? Mm -hmm. That is so it cool. It was so neat, and I was like trying to plan what to wear, what to do with my <laughs> makeup, and I was, I was like, this is bigger than my wedding day. I hope it doesn't rain. You know, I was all nervous. Wow. Did you learn anything playing Clarissa that you have applied to your own life? When I started Clarissa, I was just getting out of, or I was in junior high, and uh, I was having a hard time fitting in, and I didn't dress like everyone else did, and I was just kind of my own person, but weird. I don't know. It was weird. I guess I was a little bit younger than everyone else. I felt like I was more immature than everyone else. and. Uh, and doing Clarissa made me feel like I got to meet all new people. I got to start over with a whole new group of people. And they really made me feel accepted. And, and I learned from the show and from the character just that how peer pressure is not important. And you, is, if you can, if you can um, step away from that kind of pressure and, and really be an individual, 
and you'll be that much stronger when you're older. You know, I, that is like the thing that you've changed entirely about my life through that character because I had the same problem in junior high and high school. I didn't fit in. I didn't dress like anyone, mm -hmm. you know. You had to wear the polo shirts and the loafers. You had to and, get the perm. Yeah, the perm and the, the, and the, do you remember the ciliato purses and stuff? <laughs> and that just was not me. And then here comes Clarissa, this crazy girl who dresses like, oh, and I... There's this one sweater that you used to wear on the show. It's like a crochet, like colorful sweater. And I looked everywhere for that. I went to California to look. I went to Texas. And oh, no. <laughs> I just, and I mean, I just loved the way that your character dressed. Oh, thank and you. And she really taught me, you know, not to, not to care about what all those other people think about yeah. you. You know, if they can't see past the outside, then they're just not that's, worth that's it. That's kind of what I learned from the character, too. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, it made me realize that uh, I, I didn't have to fit in. Fitting in wasn't important. It was exactly. who you are. Who are the people, I mean, besides your family, that you enjoy spending time with the most? The people here on the set. Really? They're my best are you guys, friends. Are, is it like a home away from home kind it, of atmosphere? It's like, we, we call it like a little Girl Scout troop. It's our <laughs> little Girl Scout troop. We, we have just such a great time. We have so much fun together. A bunch of us went to Rome this summer to shoot a oh, Sabrina wow. Goes to Rome movie for, for Disney. And uh, so that'll be on like October 4th on ABC. What do you remember about your first acting job? I remember being really embarrassed. It was, it was a doll commercial, a bathtub doll, and I had to uh, get undressed. And <laughs> so I had a bathrobe and some slippers, and I remember sitting in a cast chair looking at the bathtub, and they're like, you're going to have to get in the bathtub and play with the doll. And I could keep my underwear on, but I had to be topless, and I was so embarrassed. I was How four old years old, and I was like, oh, okay. God, I'm going to be topless <laughs> in front of this whole crew. I don't know any of them. Wow. I was all embarrassed. I bet that really was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I know that you're a really, really active volunteer. What, what do you get out of volunteering? Well, you know, in this business, there's so much being thrown at you. There's so much going on, and it's nice to take a break and really be able to help people with, you know, what you do and to see that you can make a difference and to actually go out there and do it. You have inspired me to really get involved with children, especially with um, the AIDS virus. When I was growing up in sixth and seventh grade, they taught us in school that, you know, AIDS was bad. You got it doing bad things, and anybody that had it was automatically a bad person mm -hmm. in my eyes. So, you know, I looked up to you so much, and I found out that you did work with the pediatric AIDS mm -hmm. fundraiser, and I was like, you really inspired me to actually dress up like a clown and go to the Oklahoma City Children's Hospital and yeah. visit these kids who were, have cancer and AIDS. And That's great. I, I've done that myself. I go to hospitals and stuff, and it's, um, it's upsetting, but it's also you know that you're doing something good. I mean, just the joy that you see from them is yeah. just enough just to make you want to go back and do it again. Yep. Melissa, thank you so much for letting me interview you. I mean, sure. this is like a dream come true. I really appreciate it. Sure, and well, good luck on your next thank season you very of Sabrina. Much. Thank Thanks. you so much. <laughs> so what song are you going to sing with us tonight? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss the Spice Girls' favourite video countdown with the top ten picks from Scary, Sporty, Posh and Baby. And they've come up with a contest. So whoever gets the most votes gets... Oh, yeah. Who's Does that one work? now? Just name the two artists that each Spice Girl has in her countdown. If you win, you'll fly to meet the Spice Girls on tour and win a very special gift. A toy the girls have been intimate with. Please time between my legs. The Spice Girls' favourite video countdown, Saturday at 12. For more Spice Girls information, head to MTV online. MTV's Fanatic is coming your way thanks to Reebok DMX. Available at Champ Sports. When you really live sports. I feel I can run forever today. The release DMX6 from Reebok has moving air technology for the ultimate in cushioning and stability. So it reacts to the way you run. Out of my way, I'm feeling great. Hello. Here I come. The Reebok Release DMX6 running shoe. Try it on at Champ Sports. What kind of fuel do they put in those shoes? So I just graduated school and my life is up in the air. And I figure if my life's up in the air, I might as well be up in the air. I got no restrictions. Like collect calls with 1-800-CALL-ATT. One low rate, anytime, anywhere, period. And that's good when your life's up in the air. So I call that collect with 1-800-CALL-ATT and I go, Pops, like you said, I always find a way to land on my feet. Hey, life's full of uncertainty, but 1-800-CALL-ATT is the guaranteed cheap way to make collect calls. Kids on the wrong 
side of the tracks and the big city girl who'd seen it all. The sexually black? And she's my dream girl. Against all odds at Studio 54. Are you asking me to be your girlfriend? They found a love worth fighting for. She couldn't tell one of you from the next. Don't forget how replaceable you are. Ryan Phillippe, Salma Hayek, with Nev Campbell and Mike Myers. Is like thunder. 54, rated off. Charts Friday, August 28th, and theaters everywhere. Your assignment, to find magic and the Old Navy surplus pants. Impossible. Magic, I'll never let you and your surplus pants out of my sight. <laughs> You'll flip over the price. I'm flipping over the style. Fashion accomplished. Introducing Play from Columbia House, the cool new music club where you get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Shipping and handling is additional. Play's got what you want. Tons of music, but no cards to return and no automatic shipments. And members can order by toll-free phone or online. So get 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95. Grab your credit card and call now to get this special limited-time TV offer. 12 CDs free when you buy one now for just $9.95 with no cards to return and no automatic shipments, ever. All you get is all the music you want. So join now and get 12 CDs free when you buy one for just $9.95. Something's coming to AM PM you're not gonna wanna miss. It's AM PM's free hot dog day, featuring our new bowl and beefy hot dogs. Stop by any AM PM this coming Wednesday and we'll give you a free hot dog when you buy any beverage. Oh, and when you're loading up your free hot dog with all those condiments, don't forget to grab a napkin. Come get your free hot dog this Wednesday at AM PM. Introducing new frequent phone hours. Use the phone just eight hours a week and get this free phone cradle. Use it 12 hours and get a speaker phone. Use it 15 hours and get this cool headset. Or stay on the phone 20 hours a week and get a pasty complexion, flabby body, and, and a, a great, great new nickname at school. Exercised lately. The Fanatic Countdown is on. Just a few more weeks to meet your favorite celebrity. Find out how at fanatic.mtv.com. Oh, here we are. Phoenix Concert Theater. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I know, bro. Pleasure. I'm Tim. Pleasure, Tim. Nice Pleasure to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you, to meet you man. Nice. Sit down. Right Where are you guys from? Right outside Washington, D.C. Oh, cool. McLean. Where, what city? McLean. Oh, yeah. cool. I think they want you to sit right here. He's the quarterback. He gets to sit in the middle. Yes. But they got him in the pocket. Nice to meet you, man. Did you guys at any point in your career, maybe when you were starting out, or maybe even up to today, do you guys, did you ever have stage fright? Do you still get a little? Yeah, yeah, I get butterflies before every single show, I swear to God. Even now. I don't know why, even if it's like, even if it's just like a good, happy, nervous butterfly. I still get like the little song jingle before every set. I guess it's just the whole thought of going out to play in front of people and that you could mess up. <laughs> you will mess up. Yeah, you will. You will mess up. Yeah, so. Wow. Definitely, man. Did you guys, when you were growing up, did you have like one instant or one moment, like a concert moment that you remember that really meant a lot to you? I don't, think, I don't think growing up, I think seeing a concert? Yeah, from an, another band, not yourselves. I guess I remember, the one thing I remember being a kid is when my mom took me to see Ray Charles at the Charleston County Hall. I remember that for oh, some wow. reason. Because I, I got one uh, that you guys gave to me. The, the first time I ever got to see you guys live was at Meriwether Post Pavilion. Oh, cool. The rain show? And yeah. <laughs> was it the one with rain? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, it was, it was like during the day we had like a little picnic thing. It was beautiful. It was a great day at first. It was like intermittent. And then during I'm going home, as soon as you said, the sky ripped open, and I held my heart in my hand like a soldier on his very last day, right then there was like a huge 
cloud burst. No way. Right over where I was standing. And it was, it was just, it was like, it was like a religious experience. That's a great I moment. lost cool. it. That's a great I moment. started crying. At that moment, it was like, man, this is, these guys are totally different to me. It's yeah. amazing cool, how man. one moment, not only just one song over time, but one moment of one note of one song can just blow you away. And it you're did. Just, you're knocked down. Yeah. It's just like, that's the, that's the great thing about music, though, you know? I wish such big music fans, and it's just great when you can remember when that song really meant the most to you. I love that about, I love yeah. music so much, you know? Yeah. yeah. This was a very important question to me. Where did the song Goodbye come from? What was the inspiration behind it? Yeah, I wrote that, jeez, uh, when did we start doing that? Like, 92 or something? <laughs> yeah, like that? 92. 92 yeah. And, and it was uh, just about, uh, about thinking that you can't live without something, and then realizing you know, obviously you don't want to you don't want to live this when you say goodbye. Sure. It's just the basic motif there, but it's, it's about being afraid to lose something, and then you know what will happen if you do. When I was a lot younger, when I was a little kid, um, I lost my mom when I was 16. She had some heart problems, and she passed away, and you know, I kind of made it through that. And then when I was 19, my father got sick, and he passed away. And there's a lot of times when I, I can listen. That's why it's so weird that that's what it meant to you. Yeah, because when I listen to that song and I think about it in that perspective and I think about my folks, you know, that, that's devastating, especially being that young. Yeah. But when I listen to that song, it doesn't make me depressed. It, it's, that song is like magical. Yeah, that's, I mean, I'm glad you say that because it's one thing I've always liked about our songwriting is, like I said before, just that somehow we can keep, can keep it uplifting, even though it's something if it comes from our heart, a lot of times these songs, we've been through something bad that made us write that or whatever. Sure. But we know that, you know, to go on, you've got to keep a positive spin on it. And, and that's so good that it comes through to you, you know? It, it's helped yeah. me. It helped me through two of the toughest times. Do you guys have a, have you came up with a name, a title for the new album yet? Musical Chairs. Musical Chairs. Yeah. And how soon can we look forward to it? September 15th. Yeah. When we can look forward to it. Yeah. Everywhere? They'll probably show yeah, this everywhere. after it's out. September this will probably be out when this comes out. You on. can even go to Japan and buy it then, if you want. I just may. <laughs> Wow. You get more songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Really? Yeah. How come? Uh, they get a special deal, the exchange rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do you feel like you've made it? You know, quote, unquote, and if not, quote, what do you... unquote, no. Yeah, but I mean... Uh, <laughs> Off the record. No, no, I mean, yeah, like in the sense of made it, yeah, I guess because we sold a lot of records. Oh, I think uh, for us, you know, it's important for us to have a long career in which we make a bunch of great records. We're only putting out our third record right now, so to, to us, like, you know, I don't think we're as established as we want to be. See, that's something else is I couldn't imagine you guys replacing a member. You know, right. I mean, I could not, it, it's like you guys have been like such a family type situation. I couldn't imagine, you know, like somebody else stepping in and taking anybody's role. Yeah. Well, as long as the cameras are rolling, Dean, we had something to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, talk about an exclusive. <laughs> if you guys, if, if Hootie and the Blowfish, or not even Hootie and the Blowfish, just your musical careers didn't pan out. We'd still that. be playing the bars. I Where think. would you see yourself now? I think we'd probably still be playing bars. If we'd still didn't. be together, I think, yeah. yeah I mean, because we, we definitely just loved it even before all this happened. I mean, we, we couldn't wait to get off our two or three days of work and get in the van and go play shows, you know? So what song are you going to sing with us tonight? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, if you could sing any song with us tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll play it. I mean, you know, oh we don't have God. a set list anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah Jane? Sure. sure Definitely, man. you can do that one with us. Yeah. We'll rock it. <laughs> yeah. We remember that is. <laughs> Claire, come here. Hello, Claire. Hey, Hi, Claire. Hey, Claire. Claire, these are the boys. Hey, Claire. Hi, Claire. It's a pleasure. How are you? It's very nice to meet you, Claire. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Claire. I guess just to bring this all to a close, I just want to say once again, you guys have helped me a lot through a lot of tough times. Your music, your voice, the, the combination of the two. Um, I want to say thank you. Thank you, and man. I, I mean so that from the bottom too. of my heart. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> see you, Tim. We'll see you tonight, Tim. See you tonight, buddy. When she came out there and just said, you know, that she didn't fit in and she didn't dress like everyone else, I was just like, oh my God, because that's exactly, I mean, she almost said it like word for word, exactly how I felt about my old junior high and high school years. I mean, it was incredible. Ten times over what I expected. I, I knew, at least I thought it would go well, but I had no idea it would go that smooth. And that they would make sure that I felt so relaxed. Let's go have some fun.